preach, and I was like, you go talk to me, man. So I often refer him to you as my daddy, Elder Joshua. His Amen. ministry has, Amen. I was blessed by his ministry, and the Holy Spirit convict my heart, and I'm here today. Great. Glory to God. From my pastor, which is your former pastor, Pastor Carla Naya, and the board of the East Assembly Adventist. Today, I want to talk to you on four points in the importance of prayer. And we are talking about the human emphasis day. And our sister, Anna, we know Anna was suffering. We know that Anna was upset. So, what can we learn from Anna through prayer? Let us pray. Father in heaven, we ask you to touch our heart. We pray that we'll be encouraged by this word. Don't let this see me. I be on the cross in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, let us share a testimony. Nine years ago, Sister Beckham, thank you to invite me as well. Nine years ago, I lost my brother. No, 15 years ago. I lost my brother. I, I baptized at the age of 14 into a Sunday church, and I fall away at the age of 22 and have my daughter at the age of 23. And I made commitment to God and said, God, if you help me to bury my brother, I will serve you. And when I look at Anna, she made a commitment to God, but she did not run away from the commitment. At the age, three years of age, she gave the priest her son. How many persons will do that? How many times we make commitment to God, and as soon as the commitment come true, we forgot about the promise that we have made to God. Sisters, come on now. No, no. It take me, Elder Joshua, about four visits to stand on the commitment that I made with God. But I want you to understand that this woman, Anna, she make a commitment and it was easy for her to yes. honor God. Amen. You may go into a lot of stuff now. I, I mean, I lost my mother like April the 18th. I just came back from Jamaica. It was hard. But the difference between lost my brother 15 years ago and lost my mother almost two months ago is that my mother gone to sleep. Amen. Amen. And I have a security know that I will see her again. Amen. Amen. So, point number one, with Anna, Anna know where to take her prayer. Amen. We have to know where to take our prayer. Yes. Because even though I respect Elder Joshua, but Elder Joshua cannot help me in certain situations. I have to go to God in prayer. Amen. In 1 Samuel 1 verse 10, it's stated in the chapter say that Anna had come up to the house of the Lord here after here. You know that Panina was in her back bed. I took your husband. How oh, many times you go to work and your co-worker is annoying to you? What do you do? Do you honor God? No, no, but Panina did not do that. But just, well, wait a minute. Even in our situation, he lied, who's supposed to be a man of God, began yes. to judge her. Yes. yes. But she did not stop there. She pressed you. Somebody said, push, push. Push. So why is she pushing? The earth was against her because she know that she's going home to a woman in Jamaica. We call it Mercy. And she's going to annoy her and not even the elder the preacher he came and began to judge her while he has his son giving trouble but that is not the case the case is that i want to touch jesus amen 
So, so, so watch it in. The second point I want to bring out to you. In our brokenness of pain, I not trust God's power and ability to work on our behalf. Mm -hmm. You see, 15 years ago, I did not trust God enough to work on my behalf. My mother died April the 18th, the day that I purchased a ticket to go to Jamaica. I did not see my mother. It hurt. I still don't heal, but I trust. My brother told her, because she got a stroke, and he came to the hospital, and she said, Jasmine is coming. And she turned her face, and she smiled because she could not do anything. And my brother said, she don't, he don't hear anything from her. I feel so guilty. I feel like it was my fault. If I could be, the, the wall was closing. So I can imagine how Anna feel. But she trusts her brokenness. And she made a vow. I'm telling you, when you, God say no man. Yes. When you deny yourself and come to him. Mm -hmm. yes. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? So in her vow, and she make, it was hard, but she make a vow and she keep the commitment of the vow. And this was not a nice prayer and a prayer. It's a sometime we're in a problem. We're with the Lord. Four, God will never allow our pain and brokenness to have final word. Your brokenness will not take over you. It can never take over you. You are victorious. You are beautiful. You are special. The Bible says you are his child. Sometimes we need to claim victory before we yes. Can I testify? I have a YouTube channel. I cannot speak clearly. Recently, I've learned to speak. I also chose master. And I meet this lady on, I'm talking about the importance of prayer. I meet this lady, she was my, she is my YouTube sister. So I was praying and I was annoying God. God, my mother dead and I'm going to Jamaica and all of these things. So may I get money? I said, that God, I want $2,000. I got a call. And the lady said, I was praying to him. And the Lord said, I will send you $2,000. And when I said to her, wait, I'm going to call the back. Because I said, I'm not going to Western Union. But they locked me up because I still doubt God. Stop doubt God. And she sent me the money. I said, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to doubt to God. Please forgive me. What I'm saying this to you. You may pray for something. 
and you believe that God is not here, but you are not ready to receive that God. Somebody said, push. 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 No, so I wanted to close on four points we talk about this morning. Point number one, I don't know where to take our problem straight to God in prayer. Two, in her brokenness of pain, I don't trust God, power and ability to work on her behalf. Three, Anna was faithful and strong and uphold her end of her prayer and commitment to God's plan and salvation. Four, God will never allow our pain and brokenness to have the final word. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. Father, we thank the Lord for your word. We bless you for this prayer breakfast. We continue to ask you to strengthen the women of Berea, Seventh-day Adventist Church, and also for the conference in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.